Hello, it's your favorite Ndebele teacher here, Bongiwe Gamdambo. So let me teach you how to pronounce the K in Ndebele, all right? So the K has got two different pronunciations, and it depends on the word. So you need to know which word uses the, and which one uses ka, okay? So two different sounds, but it's the same K. So let's get into it, okay? Let's start with the most common one. In Debele, you will hear ga a lot. You will hear the sound ga. For example, ga kulu. Ga kulu. That's the ga I'm talking about. So, ga kulu means too much. For example, unoluanje ukala ga kulu. Unoluanje cries too much. Here's another example. Ga deni ulindile. I've been waiting for you for too long. Gade. Okay? Another example. E yini gungapi. So there is yini there and the gungapi. That's the same K. That's the same pronunciation of K. The common one. So yini means uh, your home. If someone were to say yini gungapi, they're asking you where do you come from? Okay? Yini. Another example would be godwa. You are going to hear Godwa a lot in the various sentences. Godwa means but. Okay? Godwa. For example, Nyaguzwa Godwa. Lawe I hear you, but you also listen. Okay? Godwa. That's the word. Uh, then we also have this one. Gulungile. Gulungile means okay. It can also mean it is well. All right. So in this more uh, common pronunciation of K, here is uh, how we say it. Ga, ye, ye, go, go. So that is all these examples that I've been giving you. That's how we pronounce them. Ga. All right. Then for the other one, for the other one, I'll give you examples of words first. So listen to this. I camelo. It's still K, but we pronounce it ka. All right? So the second pronunciation of K is ka, ke, ki, ko, ku. It all depends on the word. You just need to know which word is ka and which one is ga. All right? So ikamelo means a bedroom. Another example would be ikama, which is a com. Ikama. Here is another one. Ike base. A cap. Okay? Ike base. And then we also have Ikolichi. Ikolichi is a college. Alright? Lastly, I have Isikiba. We just pronounce it Iskiba. Alright? So Iskiba is a t shirt. So you'll notice that the ki, the ka, ke, ki, ko, ko, the last one that I'm talking about now, is normally used with words that were derived from English. Okay? Like the examples that I just gave you. Ikama is coming from the word kom. Uh, kom in English. Ikolichi is coming from college. Imkepesi is coming from kep. Uh, then it's kiba. I'm not sure, but it's a t-shirt. Okay? So that's how we pronounce the, the K sound in Debele. All right, let me know if you're getting it. Let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. See you in the next lesson.